It is Food City Friday, and Chef Joe is joining us. Bacon wrapped meatloaf. Holy cow. Today is the perfect day for some bacon wrapped meatloaf, That's right? Good, good indoor food. Yes, exactly. So tell us what you are doing to get us started. Well, I've already got. Actually, I counted them, 17 crackers. Okay, I, saltine crackers, yeah, right? Yeah, 17 regular saltine crackers that I beat up in my food processor. Easy. And we're going to start and run down my uh, list over here. Mm -hmm. Let me make sure we get everything. So I'm going to start with a third of a cup of our uh, Food Club whole milk. We're going to add that in there. Okay. And then I've got two large eggs and an egg yolk. Okay. We're going to make it good and rich. Okay. And let me see, what's next? Oh, we have... We have exactly a third of a cup of chopped parsley in Perfect. here and my, and my nice gourmet garden parsley. Uh, and those cup. are so easy because it's already chopped. Mm -hmm. You don't have to worry about sure it. Sure is. Yes. And then mm, I'm going to add good. in, we're going to add a little bit of salt and pepper here. Okay. Let's add just a couple of pinches here. And, and tell us right now, pepper. what are you making? This is what the meat goes in, right? Yeah, the meat, we'll mix the meat in in just a minute. Okay. And let me go ahead and whip this up just a little bit before we add. Now I've got some... Uh, onion and bacon and garlic over here. This is minced onion and bacon that was minced together and then I've cooked it up in the pan until, okay. the, until the onions and bacon got cooked up. Okay. And we're gonna back, uh, we're gonna drop that in there just in a second as soon as I get everything in here mess, uh, mixed up. Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> oh anyway, my gosh. Okay. So, so this is already cooked then. The bacon mm -hmm. yes, and the this garlic. Has been cooked up. We're going to add all it of our so good. bacon and onions and garlic in here. And we want that uh, bacon flavor to go through the entire meatloaf. Okay. So That's now we're going to continue to mix right? this. You not only have bacon mm -hmm. on the outside, we got it wrapping on the, inside the too. meatloaf, you got it on the inside. Yeah, we, have, we had uh, four slices of our thick cut food club bacon in this for the... Uh, to mince up in here, mm -hmm. and then there's eight slices of our uh, thick cut food club, food club bacon there. Okay, delicious. Now we've got that stirred up real good. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add in about a pound and a half of our 93% uh, lean ground beef. Okay. And there's a half a pack there because uh, so we can put the fast forward button on and have one cook. Right. <laughs> we've already got one cooked now. What you what you don't want to do is over mix this, and that's why I've got the gloves on. So we're gonna we're just gonna push this in there. We don't want to over mix because it may it'll come out tough. Right. And uh, meatloaf we is just a wanna... great get your hands dirty kind of meal, right? Oh yeah. You yeah. got to. It's fun for kids too if you want to get them involved. A lot of fun. Have them do this part. Now, if you wanna if you wanna reach over and grab that pan right there. Yep, with the bacon in it. Yep, we've already lined that with so the bacon. So this is what the bacon looks like. And what I did was I put in some uh, some of our uh, pl clear plastic wrap. Okay. And then sprayed it with a little bit of cooking spray just to make sure that it comes out real good. Yeah. And then I'm going to add this bacon in. I think we've and you put, got it you mixed up here. You put barbecue sauce already on yes, the bacon Yes, I went, well, too. I made the uh, barbecue glaze there, right. which is those four items there in front of us right, right there. So you got mustard, some apple cider vinegar, mm -hmm. some barbecue sauce, and, and Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. Okay, I believe we've about got it mixed up here, so just go ahead and set that pan down all there. Right. I'm going to lift her up. So all you do is you just put it in. Mm -hmm. That easy. We're going to toss it in there. And I've got a, uh, I've got a probe because we're going to cook this basically to an internal temperature. It's going to take it. Okay. We're going to cook it to about 100. Oops. Hush. <laughs> <laughs> we're trying to make meatloaf stove. We're going to cook this to 150 degrees to start. Okay. Once that is finished at 150 degrees, then uh, I will pull it out, and I'm going to use a little bit more of our glaze there. Okay. And I'm going to add some, uh, and what I'll do is paint the bacon with that and put it on the broiler for about another three to five minutes until okay. we crisp up the bacon real good. Easy. And we'll have a nice, uh, pretty bacon, uh, we'll have a nice, pretty meatloaf. Excited to see the finished product. And so real quick before we go, what temperature do you put the meatloaf in? It cooks over an hour at 375 or until right. it hits 150. Internal temperature. Yeah. Now, All right. Well, we'll let you wash your hands and we'll... Let me add my, let me add my cheater, cheater, uh... Bottom of it. <laughs> there mm -hmm. you go. All I'm right. I'm going to add that on. Joe, thanks so much. And we will be back and see the finished product of your bacon-wrapped meatloaf. Can't All right. wait. We'll be right back. The preceding portion of Daytime Tri-Cities was sponsored by...